Okay, I've got the filter holder on now, and I'm shooting up here using yellow filter. Hopefully it'll pick up some of the yellow in the leaves. Uh, give me a little more contrast. Uh, it's kind of a nice scene. I hope it turns out well. I'm shooting a 75 millimeter lens. That's very wide on uh, 4x5. I'm using an ever so slight amount of front forward tilt. You can see right here. And then I've got a decent amount of fall to get my point of view, or at least the composition, to be lower on the scene. The light is fairly flat down here, so I'm just going to take an incident reading out of the sun. And that gives me a half second at f16, and I'll adjust that um, once I get the filter on and, and consider my uh, actual shooting aperture and then reciprocity, because I have a feeling I'm going to end up into reciprocity land. Okay, the yellow filter is on. Hopefully I get this shot done before I run out of light. Okay, hang with me here. Uh, 16, aperture of f16 at half a second according to my incident reading. I'm going to shoot it at f22, so that gets me to one second. Then I'm going to put on a one-stop yellow filter, or I just did put on a one-stop yellow filter. It's going to cost me another stop, so that gets me to two seconds. And that gives me a total exposure using a reciprocity timer of four of six seconds for Foma Pan 100. I have the uh, film holders covered with my t-shirt because there's the sun and I didn't want it blasting in on the film holders while I took the shot. So, as I said, a six second exposure uh, at f22, that's because of a yellow filter costing a stop and reciprocity failure on the FOMA 100. All right, so that took me about 25 minutes, I guess. Uh, it's, you know, some of these shots just take a while to set up. Uh, I was on a fairly steep bank right next to the creek. So I had to move slowly and carefully so I wouldn't knock the whole camera over and knock it into the creek. Um, I was shooting the Chamonix. As I mentioned in my review, it is fairly fiddly to set up. Although, and I mean to do some sort of uh, better video of this, um, a viewer sent me some tips on the Chamonix that I had missed. Uh, there are actually uh, tilt locks on the front standard. So that helps you get set up, really. It, it helps a lot because the front standard doesn't want to tilt so often. Um, in this case, I needed tilt. So I got the camera basically set up and then applied just a touch of front tilt and then thought I had it locked in. But then I went to put the filter on and the filter holder went on just fine. But when I went to slide the filter down into the holder, naturally it shifted the front standard a little bit, not shifted, but tilted. So I had to get back behind the camera and double check my focus. I had to pull the tilt back a little bit uh, and I did that once, I've, obviously the filter was on, so it was really hard to see what was going on. I already had it stopped down to F22. So I got the loop out and did the best I could without undoing everything and starting over. So again, like 25 minutes to shoot that shot. Although I think it will be really nice if it turns out. Also shooting a, what on 4x5 is I would say a pretty short lens. Uh, 75 is pretty darn short. Um, in order to get the lens to focus, I actually had to adjust the back of the chamois forward. Because even when I was on the closest or whatever, the first, if you want to call it that, the first mounting hole for the front standard, I couldn't get the focus pulled back far enough. So I actually had to um, release the back as I demonstrated in my video and push that forward and I was doing that while I was looking into the camera and then I realized I probably applied some 
uh, swing when I did that and, and I didn't want swing. So I had to take the dark cloth off, or the focusing cloth, um, check that the back was straight, which it was not. It was really unstraight. So I made sure the back was straight. Then I went back and focused again, yada, yada, yada. So it is uh, the process. It's not just the camera in this case, but the process is fairly lengthy. Uh, I think more practice, obviously, I would know, okay, I got to pull the back forward before I even set up if I'm going to shoot a really short lens. But anyway, that's kind of uh, the number of little things that go into this kind of shooting.